What's up guys, this is Sadiq Hatzovic. We're at the 2014 MPC North American. I'm standing with the overall bodybuilding champion as well as the heavyweight bodybuilding champion, Eric Ramirez. Eric, I know you just got off stage, but how do you feel? You must be ecstatic. It's just a dream. It's a dream for many years. They just, you just see that every show and you see everybody accomplish it and see it and you always wonder, you know, what goes through the head, you know what I mean? I just, you know, not long ago, Rob Hughes, you know, just turned pro at the uh, Team Universe, and I was just, he's a good friend of mine, and I was just looking at his head, and like, I wish I could see yeah. what's going through his head, and I guess this is what goes through your head, you don't know, everything. Yeah, it's yeah. everything, it's so many things, like, from the first day you start lifting to five minutes before you get on stage, you're just making sure you want to do it right. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just a dream come true. Well, obviously, you started lifting a long time ago. I've seen you competing for many years. Now, what did you start off? Did you start off as a big guy or were you one of these slender guys? I, was, I hit the gym when I was 19 years old for the first time. Uh, I was 163 pounds. And just wanted to be a bodybuilder since the first time I did it, you know? But it seems like a, like a really far away dream, you know? Like, I put it in my head. When I turn 30, I want to be a pro. Not like some people like to say, next year I'll be a pro. To me, it was like a whole process because I was surrounded by bodybuilders like from back in the days that they always tell me, listen, just do step by step. You do a local show, you win a novice, you go to the open, you win an open. When you win an overall, then you're ready for a junior national show. You win a junior national, then you know you, you make your name. So that's what I did. I went through every step. You know, I was a 2008 junior USA or light heavyweight champion. And I had the uh, great experience to step in the overall with Cedric McMillan. That was the year he wow. he won the overall. So it's, it's, it's been a long, long, long time. Well, I've seen you on the East Coast. You definitely surround yourself with a lot of bodybuilders. I've seen you at my gym a few times, Beth Francis. But I know you train at Maz Ali's gym. Correct. You train over there? A powerhouse gym in Linden, correct. Yeah, Mass's yeah. gym in Linden, yeah. That's great. All right, so starting off as 160 pounds, what advice do you have for anybody who's about 160 pounds and wants to, you know, pursue bodybuilding? How'd you put on all this mass? I'm not going to say what to do. I always say what not to do. Don't be afraid of eating. There's no magic things out there. Hard work in the gym and eat. My biggest mistake, and maybe it took me this long to get here to realize is you're always afraid of eating, afraid of the food. You have to eat, train hard, and size will come not just eat whatever have a diet which i used to do the wrong thing back before just eat myself silly and i like on an off season get heavy junk food that wasn't a diet keep your diet eat correct and you will cut so many years of your you know drink. well you certainly are picking the right foods because your conditioning was spot on i believe that's why you want the overall tonight is because your conditioning um now that you are an ifbb pro What's next for you? I would like to see you on a New York Pro stage. Is that possible? I never, it was like a far dream for me to turn pro. So I never dreamed anything after being a pro. I just wanted to be a pro and then I decided. But from last year getting so close, I started thinking about it and what better than just give back to my area, support my people around, the judges, the MPC in Jersey, New York, and yes, it will be New York Pro. No, no doubt. People be like, pick a smaller show, that's a big show. It's just family. All my friends are there. All you guys be there. And you just got to support people who support you back. So I'll be New York Pro, correct? Well, I'll be seeing you at the New York Pro. Anybody you want to thank for this uh, victory tonight? I know you had a lot of people that helped you get to where you're at. Uh, especially, I want to thank George because he believed in me, George Farrer. He believed in me when I didn't think I could do this. And, you know, being with him for three and a half years has been... A life changing for me you know this is thanks to him and this is for him second you know my close friend dave shell he was from the first day i joined the gym he was there so right now he flew here just to see me so we turn pro together you know he never lifted to compete but we turn pro together me and him you know my family my daughter you guys in new york all you guys in new york Juan Diesel, for the last past few weeks, man, you became just this big thought in my head. And mentally, I had you in my head, and you helped me make a lot of great decisions to improve my conditioning and my physique coming into here, too, especially with training and, and just with the way you are. Thank you, Juan. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, Eric, congratulations once again. Um, the sky is the limit for you. Thank you. And uh, wish you success in preparing for the New York Pro. For more updates, go to mpcnewsonline.com.